has repeatedly said that they cannot hold on to a car that has been repossessed once the bankruptcy has been filed, even if the bankruptcy is filed after the repossession? Hold on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let, let's do some talking because I got to get some stuff out to, to make sure y'all understand. We're putting together a track for this. Now, this is going to be in both English and Spanish. All right. So let me tell you something. And I want y'all to pay attention because I'm about to start a trend. Okay. You see this right here? This is in Spanish. This is the cases in English. And I told it when it put it in Spanish, it better keep the same context. Okay. So test the cases out. Make sure they say what they say. And then have it put it in Spanish. Those of you who speak both English and Spanish, communicate with the court in your language. Let the court provide a translator, but you communicate with the court in your language, letting them know you understand what you're doing. All right? But let me explain something. We're going to turn this off so that y'all can hear me. That's way up there. Let's see what this one sounds like. All right, so I'll pick one of them and I'll put it out there for you. But let's explain something. Several people have contacted me telling me that their vehicles have been repossessed. What can they do? I tell them file bankruptcy. Why? Because bankruptcy creates an automatic stay on all debt collection activities. Well, a repossession, even if they did it eight weeks ago, is a debt collection activity. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know that any acts committed after you file bankruptcy forfeits every action they do because they must get an order from the bankruptcy court. So stop letting these idiots play these games. Stop letting the judges play the games. Know the law and enforce the law. It's not the judges who enforce the law. You are the one who enforced the law by filing your complaint and sticking through with it and filing it on appeal. Don't answer no questions. Do I have the right to do this? Yes or no? Did they have a right to do what they did? Yes or no? Well, the law says they didn't. Doesn't matter what you just said. The law says they didn't. That means they didn't have a right because you can't grant no one a right. You don't have the authority. So shut it up. Sorry. That's how I talk to them. Y'all can't do that, but I do. I ain't got time. Okay? It creates an automatic stay. Now, I have a situation where a person filed bankruptcy and they're holding, they admit it that they're supposed to return the car but still holding on to it because they want to cause problems because they don't like the fact they got to give it up. So fine, we're contacting the insurance commission and we're contacting the other agencies in the state of Texas, letting them know, y'all doing something. And then we just notified them, hey guys, you're gonna give us your bonding information. We just notified them, put it in a letter, all right? Because we ain't got time. All right, look, I gotta go, but that's just me letting y'all know what we're getting ready to do, okay? Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go! Take care of yourselves.